Thomas and the Castle. The island of Sodor has a lot of beautiful places. There's Shen Valley. The forest. That evening, James had backed into the shed feeling shocked. You'll never guess what I saw on my way back to the sheds, he said. And what was it? X Thomas. A g ghost, he said. Percy was scared, but Thomas, on the other hand, wasn't convinced. At last, Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, I would like you to take some cars to Lord Kellen's castle, he said. The delivery is to be taken tonight. Look out for ghosts along the way, Percy said. Thomas still wasn't convinced. And he steamed off to go find his freight cars. It was nighttime by the time Thomas arrived at the yard to collect his cars. Bill and Ben had checked his cars for him. Be careful on your way to Lord Cowan's castle, Thomas, Ben said. He's right, said Bill. It could be scary. And spooky, Ben added. Thomas still wasn't convinced. And he made his way to the castle. Thomas bravely made his way to the castle as he made it along the junction that led to it. Scary engine, scary engine, the car sang, but Thomas paid no attention. Just then, Thomas saw a flickering light up ahead. He was worried that it was a ghost. And as Thomas steamed closer, he realized that it was only Cyril with his headlamp. So James hasn't seen a ghost after all. It was only Cyril, he said, feeling more braver. At last, Thomas finally arrived at the castle, just in time. He was pleased that there weren't any ghosts along the line. I gotta go tell James about this, he said. As soon as all the workmen got the supplies off Thomas's freight cars, Thomas went back to the yard to drop them off and went back to the sheds. Thomas soon arrived at the sheds and told the engines all about what happened. James and Percy were relieved. You really are a brave engine, said James. And a brave and smart one, too, added Percy. And that made Thomas smile to himself. 